For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a table from an equation on our calculator. So let's say we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 3, and we want to see its corresponding table. Well, if we're going to use that with the calculator, we need to first put it into y equals as if we were going to graph it. So in our y1, let's put in negative 1 half x plus 3. Now instead of graphing it, if you notice up here above graph, there's some blue lettering and it says table there. So in order to get there, we need to hit the second button and then hit graph. Now by default, the calculator will show us x values starting at 0 and then going up by 1s. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And it'll also give the corresponding y values to each of those x values. Now what you could do here is you could scroll up or down to see all the other values as well. Well what if, for example, you need to see the table in steps of 1 half? For example, x is 0, 1 half, 1, 1 and a half, 2, and so forth. Well what we could do is we could change the settings on our table. Up here on the top, above window, we have blue lettering that says table set. So if we go there, we hit second window, we could change the settings to our table. So up here at the top, it has table start. So that's going to be the x value where the table will start when we go to that part of the calculator. Now right below that, we have this delta symbol next to the word table. Now what this is referring to is the increments that the table is increasing or decreasing by. So for example, it's set to 1 at the moment, and that's why our table earlier would just go up by 1s every time. It went 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Well, if we wanted to go up by halves, we could change that increment to be 0.5 to represent a half. So now when we go to our table, it's going up by 1 half every time. And we could see those values. Now what if you don't necessarily want this entire list of values, but you only want very specific ones? Now down at the bottom, we have independent and dependent. Now by default, the calculator has both of those on auto, which means that it's automatically generating the x and y values. Well, By default, the calculator has those on auto, which means the calculator uses the settings we have and generates the x values and their corresponding y values automatically, and we don't have to do anything. But if we want very specific x values and we don't care about scrolling through a bunch of numbers, we could actually go down to our independent variable and switch it over to ask and hit enter on it. Now once we've done that, we could go back to our table and put in whatever x values we want. So for example, in our table, maybe we want an x value of 0 and 15 and then 27 or maybe even 54.8. I mean, you could put in whatever numbers you want and it'll give you your y value. So with this method, you could also generate a table that will fit your needs. Now, what if you want to look at another equation at the same time? Well, we could do that on the calculator by putting in another equation into the y equals. So let's take a look at another equation. So here we have y equals x squared minus 7. Well, if we want to look at its table along with our first equation, we just need to go put it into another slot in our y equals. So for example, we could go down to y2 and put in y equals x squared minus 7. And now go to our table. And if you notice up here at the top, we have y1 representing our first equation in the y1 slot. And then we also have our second equation in the y2. So when x is 0, our first equation will have a y value of 3. And our second equation will have a y value of negative 7. 
and it's similar for all the other x values and the corresponding y values for the different equations. Now if we want to, we could go back to our table set and turn our independent back on to auto, change our increments to 1. Now the calculator will generate a long table for us for both equations. So at each x value, we could see the y value for equation 1 and the y value for equation 2. Now once you're done using your tables and you don't need the information anymore, you could clear out this table by going to y equals and then getting rid of your equations that you were using for the table. And then you could just quit out. And if you notice, we could go back to table and we won't see any values because we have no equations in the y equals. And that's how you use tables on a calculator.